All right, guys, here we go again. Another uh, PCB test. I got two new ones uh, via USPS today. Uh, here's an MK2. Not really sure what revision is. It says 3.1 on here. So guessing that is, the guy didn't know if it worked or not. So um, took a chance on it. Did not have this power cable here. I'm borrowing that from uh, one of my other MK2 boards, but it did come with the ribbon cable, and it's the long one, which is good. <clears throat> and then I also got an MK4. Uh, as a kit. It's kind of a nice kit. haven't tried this one out yet as well. So I got the PCB, uh, the dedicated marquee, the bag of manuals, and this extremely difficult to find instruction sticker. So uh, I got this on eBay. Guy has another one for sale. It's not too bad. I think I paid like 250 for it. So I'm going to try that one out as well. So let's try these out and see if they work. So let's give MK2 a shot first. <clears throat> Looks good so far. That's good. Turn up the brightness a little bit on the monitor here. This looks good. Let's try our test menu here. So revision 3.1, that's pretty good. Um, I'm probably going to switch out these ROMs, these two here, UJ12 and UG12, um, these two right here, with that burner that I work and make my own chips. I'll probably burn some Challenger chips and probably sell this one since I have uh, two or three of these as, uh, already. So let's try the MK4 out. I'll put the camera down. Okay, so MK4 here as well. Uh, let's give this one a shot. I don't know what revision this one is. I don't see any stickers anywhere. It says revision 1, 2, or 3. I'm hoping it's number 3 because uh, these chips are larger, as you can see, than the standard ROMs, and they're more expensive to buy. So let's give it a shot. I had some credits here. So revision 3.0, that's good.
Start button's not working there. What's going on? Well, anyways, it works. That's the most important thing. I'll figure out the start button issue in a minute, but I um, figured I'd show you guys some new PCBs. And um, I actually bought a couple of other ones. I bought a Rampage World Tour and a WrestleMania one, uh, but the WrestleMania had a couple of errors on it when I started up, and the Rampage one just kept on resetting, so I've sent both of them back to the people I bought them from um, to get a refund on the Rampage one, and then the guy that I bought the WrestleMania board from, he's sending me out some new, or he's going to change out the ROMs in them, because I didn't really feel like doing it, but um, I'll have that one up and running here pretty soon. That's one of my favorite games as a kid, too, so I wanted to have all these Midway games that I played as a kid, you know, Mortal Kombat, Killer Instinct, Blitz, WrestleMania, Rampage, Street Fighter, you know, all this stuff that I had. Build up a nice little collection that way if they start to dry up on eBay or anywhere else, I have them for uh, for my own collection. So that's it. Um, not really sure what else i got going on. I'm probably going to be doing some work on the uh, track and field this weekend. And I bought the pinball machine, so I'm still trying to figure out how to play that game. It's very difficult, the Lord of the Rings, but uh, it is a lot of fun. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.